Hey everyone, it's Audrey with AudreyAstory.com and I am back again, but this time I have something new. I actually went out and got a brand new iPad. It is the seventh generation iPad and uh, my other one, I hadn't been able to do many tutorials because it was completely full and it was running really, really slow. So I was waiting for the Black Friday before I got this new iPad and I figured why not get on here and do a quick video tutorial showing any of you out there that may be getting the Cricut uh, for Christmas or you just got the Cricut how to download and install the Cricut app on your brand new iPad or on a new iPad. So once again, this is going to be the seventh generation iPad. So I'm assuming that it probably works like this for everybody. So let's jump right in and get our Cricut app installed. All right, so here we are inside of or on my iPad and I um, need to go and find the app. I'm doing this all brand new, so I haven't done this on this iPad. So I'm gonna go to the App Store, click on the App Store, and we're gonna search, click on that little search bar down here at the bottom right, and then tap within here and let's just type in Cricut, there it is. Cricut Design Space, that first one right there. So we're gonna tap on that. And right here, this is what we want. So it looks like because I did um, like put in all the stuff that I had on my old iPad, so I have this, but if you're just doing this brand new, you'll probably have this little button, Get. And this is also a free app, so you should be able to just download it on your iPad. Since I had it on my old iPad, that's why I have that little cloud with the download. Um, but like I said, if you have it, if you've never downloaded it on your iPad, it'll probably say get. So now I'm going to click on open and let's see, it might have Cricut would like to send you notifications. I'd say don't allow. That's just me, my personal preference. I'll go out and get the notifications when I want to. So with the Cricut Welcome to Design Space. So it's not, let's see, tap here to set up your new machine. Tap here to learn about the app. Um, so I already have a Design Space. Um, uh, account so for me I would be doing a sign in so I'm gonna click on sign in and put in my password for Cricut design space so let me do that real quick okay I finally got in I forgot my password there for a second but so it's asking would you like this to save it into your iCloud keychain to use uh, with apps and websites if you do want it to you can it's a personal preference uh, for me I like to just continue to put in my password uh, so I never forget it <laughs> but I have quite a few passwords and uh, so I had to go through them all uh, so for me, I just say not now, but if it's something that you want to do, you can definitely save that password so you don't have to go through what I just went through. For right now, I'm just going to say not now and update privacy policy. We've updated it, so you might want to go ahead and check that out. Uh, for right now, I'm just going to say accept and I accept it. And now I have, oh, look at that. What's new? So it's showing me everything that is new. I'm going to need to select my machine and set it all up maybe. So done. And I'm going to click on done. Oh, look, it's taking me through all of this. So we're just going to go ahead and do this. Let me turn on my Cricut real quick. Didn't realize it was going to... It was going to walk me through all of this, so this is actually really good. So we're going to set it all up and everything. Okay. All right. So I have the Cricut Explore family. I don't have the Cricut Maker yet. Maybe I'll get it for Christmas. Don't know. But I'm happy with my Cricut Explore one. Uh, Air 2 is what I have. So I'm going to tap on that, and let's see if there's anything else that needs to happen. Okay, once I uh, did that video of downloading and installing the Cricut app, 
I realized that we really do have to set up our machine, so I jump right back on and we're gonna set up the machine, okay? So once you're inside of the Cricut app, you're going to tap on this little, this is like my name, AO, okay? Um, this is my profile and everything, but it says machine setup and app overview. So you wanna tap on that, let's tap on that. And now new machine setup tap here to set up your new machine here's the app overview so i'm going to tap on new machine setup and now it comes to welcome to the cricket family let's set up your machine create a cricket id and make a fun project so get started so i'm going to click on get started it says power on machine which i did power that on already so i'm going to tap on continue and now it's bringing me to connect machine so on your device open the settings then select bluetooth and turn it on and then so the bluetooth is on and then use pin zero 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 so let's go to settings and my bluetooth is on when i click on that it does have my bluetooth so let me tap on cricket air i'm going to tap on the cricket air 1829 ah there it is pairing unsuccessful pairing took too long make sure cricket air is turned on in range and is ready to pair so it is in range it is ready to pair um but i'm not sure why it's not working so i'm going to turn it off sorry guys maybe you're having the same problem uh, then i'm gonna turn it on okay it's on now it's trying to find the device it's interesting i don't see it turning to a blue um, normally my power button usually turns to blue when it's connected Wi-Fi so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn off my Bluetooth I just tapped on that and then I'm gonna tap it back on and let's see if it finds it this is very interesting okay so it finds it here and if I tap on Cricut Air 2 1829, tapped on that, doesn't look like it's turned to blue. Oh, okay, so pin is zero, 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 pair. So I'm gonna pair it up. Oh my gosh, it worked. It's connected. It says it's connected now. So now what I'm gonna do is click on my home button Go back to home. Let me open up my Cricut design space. And now I'm gonna say continue. All right, continue. Okay, and now let's update is what it says. Let's make sure you've got the latest and greatest features. Update firmware below. The power light will, ch will change color during the process. So we're gonna click on update. I'm gonna click update. And it's loading the machine settings. Do not disconnect from your machine. Okay, I'm hoping this is helping some of y'all out there. <laughs> this is one of the reasons why I wanted to do it live in case you run into any problems like this. Because you know how those tutorials, they make it all look nice and pretty and then you go and you do it and it never works like that. So that's one of the reasons why I wanted to do this and just show you guys what you're absolutely positively gonna need to do. Here's grab this Cricut access plan. So if you do want to purchase this, you can. Um, 10 bucks a month, first month free. I've already done my first month free. Uh, found that I really didn't need it. Um, so I I've learned to work around this. And let's see, it says sign me up, maybe later. I'm just gonna click on maybe later. Here we are, uh, you're only a cut away. So now you can go ahead and do uh, this if you want to. I'm just gonna say no thanks and skip tutorial project. We found that most of our customers are more comfortable using their new machine after they've completed this project. 
And since I've already done this and I've been working with a Cricut, I'm not going to, but if you are new to it, go through it because I did do it when I first got my Cricut and it did like kind of show me how to um, do it and everything. And if I'm not mistaken, yeah, it's, uh, I think the card is included in it just so that you can do that. So go do that. I'm gonna skip the project for right now and your adventure starts now. Click on start designing and now I'm back to it. Okay, this took a little bit longer, but we've got it. <laughs> so hopefully that helped you guys out. Okay, I think that's it, we're done. We did it, that was a quick, easy, simple, just add, um, download and install the Cricut Design Space to your brand new iPad. Okay, be looking for more tutorials on the iPad with the Cricut Design Space because I'm back in business, y'all. Okay, if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. And when you subscribe, yeah, Go ahead, subscribe, and hit that bell button so that you're notified every single time I'm putting up these new tutorials. And I think pretty much all my tutorials are gonna be really geared towards the iPad and the Cricut design space because I'm gonna start doing a lot more um, of my tumblers and some new stuff that I've got going on behind the scenes. So anyway, y'all have a blessed day and uh, hope you get that Cricut maker for Christmas. Yeah. Okay. Talk to y'all later. Bye.